We get closer to the holiday season, we wanted to spotlight an organization and an event, not just showcasing the holiday spirit, but giving kids an opportunity in music. And I'm joined now by Eric Lentz, the executive director of the Denver Children's Choir. Thanks so much for being here today. We are going to get to the concerts themselves in a little bit, for, but for those people at home that don't know, let's start with more about the Denver Children's Choir. Yeah, wonderful. Well, first, thanks so much for having me, Jason. Denver 7 has been a longtime partner of the Denver Children's Choir. We're so proud of that. And I know y'all are celebrating your 70. 70. Big so, birthday for us. And you're saying just getting started. Mm -hmm. We're coming up on 30. 30. And we feel very similar. We feel like mm -hmm. we're just getting started too. So we're, our focus is really on inspiring and uniting kids from all over Denver. No matter where they come from, we serve areas of underserved communities where they don't have access to choir. And as they grow up through the choir, some of them sing with us for 12 years and they grow and they get more acclimated to the magic of vocal harmony. And that's really our focus is bringing together kids from all over, giving access to everyone. What are the ages of kids in the choir? Seven to 18. Okay, so a big a big range, yes. and obviously a big vocal range there <laughs> as much. well. So we're talking about the Songs of the Season concerts. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, so really our Songs of the Season concerts are a celebration of all cultures, as well as, of course, the magic and joy of the season, right? In this time of really everything that's happening in the world, we look at this as a celebration of humanity. We sing songs from Close to 50% of our songs are not in English this season, mm. and our kids, 7 to 18, sing them all. So um, when we come up to the concerts, that's what you're going to experience. Because I'm personally very interested in what you just said, can you give me an example of a song th that you're singing this year that's not in English? And, yeah, and we, kind of why? Well, because our focus is not just to introduce kids to the music on the page, but also where the music comes from. So we've mm -hmm. got a couple songs this year coming up actually in Hebrew, and that's important to our kids because they get to experience not just their own culture, but maybe the culture of those that sing around them as well. Very, very interesting and very, very important. So this year's concerts, yeah. uh, that's one part of that. Yeah. Uh, what's new, what's different, what's exciting? What are you looking forward to? I look forward to these concerts so much every year. We have two. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, December 2nd at 7 p.m., we feature our top choirs, what we call our premier choirs, mm -hmm. about 50 voices from all over the city, singing music that is often at college level. Those kids are amazing. Some of them have been with us for 12 years. And then on Sunday, December 3rd at Temple Emmanuel at 4.30, 30 p.m. We feature the this is this makes me my heart sing is these kids from all over the city about 200 voices that come together and they not only get to sing together they get to meet these kids from across neighborhoods from mm -hmm. different areas of the city and then create vocal harmony together. That sounds very very wonderful and exciting and if you at home want to take part we have the details in case you missed what he said the specific Denver Children's Choir Songs of the Season concerts. Saturday, December 2nd at the Welshire Presbyterian Church and December 3rd at Temple Emmanuel. For tickets, all you got to do is head on over to denverchildrenschoir.org. Thanks so much for being with us today.